my dear friends today i wish to explain about the disaster and its management we all know disaster is nothing any sudden event that is caused by nature or man which adversely affect the human population animals and plants disasters are of various types earthquake like cyclone landslides floods and virus outbreak like coronavirus sars virus mers virus etc now let us discuss about the first disaster that is floods floods is the results of continuous rainfall for several days in the specific area there are various other factors which directly linked with the floods these are all are as follows first is deforestation of hilly and plain areas which is the major cause of floods second is intensive agricultural practice that is if we did lot of agriculture practices that would results in the soil erosion and soil become banjar third is construction of bridges and houses etc and fourth which is very much we can say applicable in rural and urban areas that is a poor drainage systems in rural areas now how to control the floods that the prevention and control is an important part in order to avoid floods we have lost lot of lives during floods we face floods so many years continuously now how to prevent it the first is by planting maximum number of trees on the banks of river and hilly areas secondly by collecting data from the meteorological department and inform the people about heavy rainfall third is awareness about the management of life during the floods and control of excess water should be provided to the mosses fourth is by the construction of artificial reservoir in flood prone areas and fifth is much more number of lectures and workshop are organized by the experts so as to educate the mass about the prevention and control of flood measures second is earthquakes what is earthquake it is defined as the sudden trembling of the earth surface due to the movements of tectonic plates under the earth as a result of this displacement of tectonic plates inside the earth it will generate the energy which is measured on the richter scale generally from 0 to 9 and also we know that the point where the earthquake start is called epicenter now what are the prevention and control measures during earthquakes the first is the people who lived in the earthquake prone area must construct the earthquake resistant buildings so prevention is better than cure second is proper analysis of seismic zones and third is again more number of lectures and workshops are organized by the experts to educate the mass about the prevention and control measures during the situation of earthquakes now next is cyclones cyclones are the low pressure system around which the air circulates it develops when moisture rises from the surface of the sea upwards condenses and cools into rain this process releases large amount of heat and adds to the storm making it more forceful and violent in general the cyclone travels with a speed in between 100 to 200 km per hour generally cyclones air moves in a spiral shape at a very high wind velocity that is 100 to 200 km per hour now what are the impact of cyclone on environment as we all know that the wind moves we can say the cyclone moves with the speed of 100 to 200 km per hour 
सो इट कैन सीरियस डैमेज टू द एनिमल्स मैन बिल्डिंग्स इट अप्रूव्स ट्री रूफ ऑफ द हाउसेस समटाइम कॉजेस लैंड स्लाइड एक्सेट्रा नो वट आर द प्रवेंशन एंड कंट्रोल मयर्स ड्यूरिंग साइक्लोन्स द फर्स्ट इज proper investigation by weather sensing satellites and analysis by meteorological experts and it is possible to locate the problem of cyclone and its path which can be located after complete analysis